What's up guys, J.R. Raymond back again, coming to you from Waterford Lanes here, home of Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center, where today we're gonna take out that dark code. And again, yes, I'm gonna take it out on a beat up pattern. Uh, and the reason I keep doing this is because I'm starting to notice uh, a lot more, of course. I'm starting to notice that we're really getting to see the true capability of the bowling balls when we do it on something a little bit more beat up than when we do it on a fresh pattern. Because those fresh patterns, uh, most bowling balls, they're gonna have back end. You know, they're gonna be clean, they're gonna get to the back of the pattern, they're gonna go left. Really hard to see a whole lot of difference there. But now, when we do it on something a little bit more beat up, you can see, is the ball clean enough to get through it? Uh, or is it just gonna be something that you only throw on fresh? So I'm gonna take it out here. It is still a 40 foot pattern, but it is a little bit beat up. I uh, had my class out here. They were out here for an hour and a half bowling, probably a few games on here. So we will uh, we'll take it out here and see what she's got. And by the way, this actually is a 45 by four and a half by 45. Uh, layout, so we're gonna be pretty typical, same as all the other ones for the most part. Um, so let's go see what she's got. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. We got the dark code. Everybody's been kind of waiting on this one because it's uh, it's that popular brand. Everybody loves those Storm and Rotogrip balls. So we're going to be doing the UFO here next, the new UFO alert. But this one is the dark code. It's got that. It's I mean it's real dark. It's got that purple tint to it. So it's kind of like a mix between black and purple. It's got to be a good ball then. I've thrown it a few times already. I get just getting loose, and I do like the shape of it. So kind of excited to see where it, what it does on all the parts of the lane. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing that we normally do. We're going to start a little bit straighter, try to anyway. And again, this is a beat up condition. So it's not like uh, it's not torn apart like there was a bunch of, you know, open bowlers or anything on it. But we, my class was here for an hour and a half. There was two bowlers on the pair, you know, throwing shots for an hour and a half. So there's probably you know, three or four games at most on it, I would bet. Um, so we'll see what this thing can do on something other than a fresh pattern. <laughs> I'm gonna start somewhere around 20 with my feet. I'm gonna try to hit like 9, 10, and see what it does going up the lane. And a missed strike. And it was still clean through there and picked up, so that's good. I feel like every review I start with a miss to the right. It's like I'm afraid to throw it up the lane because I don't want it to overhook. <laughs> So let me just try that again, just for giggles. A little better. Basically the same thing. So it's clean enough to get through there. Even on a beat up condition where there's a lot of play out here, still gets through there pretty good. So that's a good sign. Now, the question is, Will it get around the lane? Storm ball, so I would imagine it does, but we'll find out. This place is weird. Oh, five left with my feet, two left with my eyeballs. Let's see where we end up. That tried to overhook. It tried, it wanted to, but it didn't. It got there still. That's good news. Look at that, we got a seven bagger from all my warm ups and everything. All right. All right, now let's just go five more. Five more left, which means we're gonna move our eyes. I think I need to go at least three. It's a little slow. Doesn't matter. Picked up, got through the pens. That was pretty sweet, actually. Wow. It's not like whippy. I mean, it's not going crazy down lane, but it's picking up and driving. And it's still clean. It's not giving me that feeling like it's hooking early, even on the used condition. It's gonna be interesting to see how the UFO reacts compared to this. All right, five more left off that shot. Five and three again. Oh, 
got a little yammy with it. Got a little grabby, moved a little left, and I'm like, eh, let's try to make it hook. Didn't quite, uh, didn't quite get down the lane. So I'm gonna throw that one again and try not to grab at it. It ruined my eight bagger, dang it. I'm only shooting 270. Darn it. 270 out of the box isn't bad. Huh, I'm gonna try that again, try to be a little softer with my hand and not grab it. It's better. All right. That was a little lazy coming around the corner, so I'm gonna have to start getting my hand around it a little bit. Not, I mean, my hand's around it more than I normally would be, but not much. So, I'm sorry, 260, not 270. Learn math. Math is hard. All right. Let's go back a little bit more left. Another five. Which is gonna get us into that 21, 22 range. And we're gonna get our hand around it. I thought that was gonna be a little bit stronger down lane from there. I feel like I got that one a little bit to the right. And it still didn't quite do what I thought it was gonna do. I mean, it was still okay. It's still striking from everywhere, so that's good. I'm just gonna go three more left from there. I don't wanna get too far left yet. Three and two. That's a good shot. That's what I like to see. When you know it's a good shot and it just splits the eight, nine, drives 10 straight back. That is a really good sign. Man, this would be a good combination with that maximum results. Maximum results gets to be a little bit too early. Ping, right over to the dark code. Oh, the beauty of not being on a staff. All right, so now I am 16 left of the last dot, which means I'm standing on 46, looking at about 26. Twirl it up. Ah! I'm just having too much fun with this ball. I mean, there's a reason why this ball has so much demand for it already and they had to push the release date back. I mean, all the codes were pretty successful. This is the first one that I've thrown um, because for all the other codes, I was on staff with EBI. So I didn't get a chance to throw any of those ones. And I didn't drill any. So this is the first one. So now we're going to try and get a little lofty. I'm going to have to get lofty and to get it over that left hand dry and see if it still gets through the pens. Light switch, but it still worked. All right. There we go. We got a winner. All right, there we go. So that's the dark code uh, by Storm. I know a lot of people are excited to see this thing, and I... Uh, I like being able to give you some reviews, some real reviews on real conditions, not just a fresh league condition and not just strikes being thrown, although it was pretty much all strikes. I mean, there's nothing I can do about it if the ball just strikes. So um, you definitely need to get one of these. You need to go over to bowlerx.com. There's gonna be a link in the description uh, and you'll be able to get one for yourself or come on up here to Waterford Lanes uh, where Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center is located, and we will get you one drilled up ourselves. Um, I don't think it's going to be released, I think, what, July 18th or something, but you can pre order yours at bowlerx.com right now. Bring it up here, we'll drill it, or take it over to Bethlehem, PA, drill it up there, or whatever you want to do. But until next time, guys, I'm out of here. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that comments, uh, hit them comments. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.